be in this homeroom until you leave for the high school. So we're really going to get to know each other and we're really going to get to know the people in here. Uh, I, I want to create this video so that the parents can see what it looks like in the building. Uh, seeing the, the, the mixed grouping of 5th graders through 8th graders in the room, interacting with each other, building those relationships, creating those families, changing the climate and atmosphere to improve our school. Students who normally wouldn't spend time together and get to know each other have built relationships in here and it's really neat to see them in the hallway high-fiving, saying hi to each other when normally students just pass by and they don't acknowledge each other and they don't know people in other grade levels. So then we, like, I was like, I'm too nervous to go over alone, do you want to go with me? And then that started the yoga ball and that area, otherwise everyone was sitting in the chairs. And then we went over to Michaela's table and sat together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we were tired of all getting And then there, wasn't, then there wasn't enough room, so we all came back to this table. Yeah, and then at some point we were I've seen uh, amazing relationships happen, uh, like, we were, parents were worried about fifth and eighth graders being in the same room together and some of my strongest relationships have been formed between my fifth graders and my eighth graders. So what grades are you guys all in? I'm in eighth. Fifth, eighth, seventh, sixth, eighth. And I know one thing that I was pleasantly surprised with was how much the fifth graders were willing to take on leadership roles. When people like make a mess in the school, it, it's disrespecting it. So we have a job day in order to like clean up that mess and then make it more like clean off. Yeah. The janitors, like we have them, but so they can't clean everything. And it makes their job easier if we also help out. And it also feel, like makes us feel as one school, not just grade by grade. I have um, students in much higher grades who are friends with um, the same gender and opposite gender from lower grades. Just things that you would never expect seeing when you're down at a single grade lunch or seeing single grade classes or whatever. Um, just stuff I really didn't expect and it just happened organically. It's cool because there's different grades and there's different people in there so you can still bond with them. Yes, I'm very yeah, but and she's actually really nice. She's really nice. Amelia's really smart. Michaela's really tall. <laughs> <laughs> They are all very supportive. Very supportive. Everybody could be bunny. Everyone Every can be bunny instead of me. I believe that this is what would happen, but I am very pleasantly surprised with how the friendships have developed and ultimately go out and impact what goes on outside this classroom. So that's what's most important to us.